Hi guys, hope you are all okay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to just have a quick look at how to perform uh, two SLS regression if you have already identified that there are endogeneity issues in your estimation and your model. Um, so there are several techniques that you can apply. It depends on the type of endogeneity issues that we have covered in the previous videos. You can always check what type of endogeneity uh, problem is going to affect your uh, pool OLS results. So if you identify that there are endogeneity issues that, that make your uh, OLS results uh, unreliable. And in that case, one of the solution is to run Two stage least square regression. Uh, in Stata, this can be done in a very simple way. All you have to do is you have to use the IV rate to SLS command. So, what you need to do is uh, first go back to the original regression. This was what we wanted to, we originally tried. This is our uh, dependent variable. Our independent was uh, sustainability reporting. The size, age, and GDP growth was our controls now instead of running a pooled ols what we are going to do is we will go for iv regress to sls now what uh, we need to do in this type of specification we need to identify an instrument so that is going to be a bit tricky because there are several criteria you must fulfill when you are identifying an instrument to mitigate the endogeneity issues uh, this instrument is going to be exogenous and this will be the one that we are going to test on its impact on the dependent variable so the criteria for identifying an instrument is first of all that instrument should have a significant correlation on with the ex, uh, currently endogenous variable which is uh, sustainable reporting and your instrument should not directly have any impact on the performance which is our dependent variable it should have an impact on return on asset through sustainability reporting uh, so these are the criteria that we need to fulfill in order to bring a valid instrument and it is always a bit tricky so you have to read through your literature and try to see what other people have identified as a valid instrument when they ran run two sls in uh, your study context so at this point just to demonstrate what we are going to do we are going to remove sustainable reporting here and at the end we'll give a bracket we'll bring the endogenous variable over here then put and equal then i have brought this instrument which is developed indicating one if the country uh, the firm that currently is in if they are developed is one if they are not developed is zero so the rationale is the firms which are in developed countries are going to be able to uh, get more out of the sustainable reporting which might have an impact on their overall business practices and that can benefit those firms by increasing their profitability so just to demonstrate stay with me so this is what we are going to do now if we run it now you can see this is the result and it has run instrumental variables to sls regression uh, this is my number of observation it will give you the world chi square it's uh, significant and you have the uh, r square over here you can see you ha we have instrumented uh, the sustainable reporting over here uh, if we run the original regression that means what we have originally roa sr you can see that there is slight change that means my coefficient sign remains the same but it has gone down in its trend previously the coefficient was 0.5 now it's 0.4 standard error there is a huge difference uh, it looks much stronger the z is more robust and the p-value 
from 1% uh, in the OLS, it has run down to 5%. Um, other than that, the R square, the probability values for the model remains quite similar. So this is how you can run a 2SLS model with a simple IV reg 2SLS command in Stata. You just need to specify the instrument you can run. However, once you have completed this regression, few questions might come that how can you ensure or how can you confirm that running a 2SLS model was appropriate? So there are tests for it. That means once you have run your 2SLS, so I just have to rerun because once you have rerun the IV Reg 2SLS model, now you can go for the uh, let's go for e state endo. What this command will do, it will check whether uh, you are you are supposed to run a 2SLS model or not, whether your variables have endogeneity issues or not. It will check for it. So if I run it, you see this is the test of endogeneity, and the null hypothesis is variables are exogenous. Okay. So if the null is exogenous, you can either go for Darwin Watson or uh, Darwin score or U Hausman. Uh, either of these tests is giving us a p-value of 0.5. That means we cannot reject the null based on the current p-value from either the Darwin or U Hausman, which indicates that the variable that we assume to be endogenous are in practice they are not. So, if the p-value is not significant, there is no need for you to run a 2SLS model because the original OLS results were quite robust and satisfactory. So, just remember, once you have run the 2SLS model, go for ESTAT NDOG that will give you an indication whether this will support you, whether the SLS model is appropriate for your study or not. Sometimes I can I see that authors just run the 2SLS without giving these statistics, which actually uh, negates their effort of showing all these different tests, but without proper justification. So keep that in mind. Uh, another thing that you can check whether assuming, just let's ignore that, assume that our uh, result here is below 10 percent so we if we reject the null that our variables are not exogenous and that indicates they are endogenous the next question might be how can you confirm that your instrument that you have in included in the two sls are valid so to check for that uh, you have to write weak iv test Make sure you have run the IV regress to SLS and then uh, you can do this post estimation test. So the first test that you are going to do is E state NDOG to check whether there are variables you are assuming to be endogenous, whether they are really or not. Then you can check weak IV test. So if I run it, so it will give you Monte player. I'm sorry, I, maybe it's difficult for me to pronounce. It's Montiel Luger Robust Weak Instrument Test. Sorry if I have mispronounced it. It's, it's a, I'm not sure if it's a French name or not. So they have provided this robust weak instrument test whether uh, you have to check what was the effective F statistics. So the effective F statistics at 5% critical level is 0.4. 4.842 so now you take this value and you come down to the critical values that is given for tsls or liml you can just look for this test and you there are many papers explaining how they have come up with these values what are the meaning of tsls i'm not going to this lecture trying to finish it as soon as possible otherwise uh, you guys will get bored so all you have to do is 4.842, this value compared with either the 5% or you can go a bit higher 
if needed at tau 10%. So if these values are higher, these critical values under TSLS or LIML is higher than the effective F statistics, that means you have a wider threshold for uh, the values to be accepted and that indicate the null hypothesis get rejected so in this case our null is that the instrument is weak and if this value is lower than this that we are going to reject the null and we will accept the alternative that our instrument is strong and it is capable to provide a better and robust estimation of our study findings i think that's all for today i hope that helps there are so many variation of 2sls and post estimation out there i hope that this is just the beginning and you are going to find the best way to perform this test but always remember uh, if you are going to perform 2sls be careful that you find enough justification for the instrument selection that should be theoretically and empirically justified and once you have done the 2sls test make sure you provide the post estimation results as many as many or look at the academic papers and see what are the most common and frequently uh, reported statistics and just report those otherwise there you will fa face a lot of issues just because you have reported to sls trust me i have gone through this so that's one of the reason i'm doing this video so hope this helps you have a wonderful day bye